So how did you get here? Uh, to Comic Con or to, to like this role. through the oh through the to the as role? As much as I'd like to hear your flight plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I was flying to America. In all honesty, for two other projects, um, I was I was in a position where a, a very fortunate position that doesn't happen very often as an actor. But there was five things that I was sort of down to the last two for. And in the space of a day, three of them just disappeared and went with the other guys. And so I said to my agents, I'm getting on a plane, let's get in the room with the other two and let's talk about it and see what they want, what I want to do with the parts and whatever. He said, cool, whilst you're on the plane, read this. And so I read the script. Two weeks before, I'd read an article on Ebola. But the article was talking about how Ebola and HIV are viruses that challenge our humanity in a way that if you are a mother and you have a screaming baby and the doctor says you do not touch that baby, your humanity won't allow you not to engage with that baby. And these viruses, that's what they strive off and that's how they win. But then on, a, on another level, what happens is when these, these viruses or these deaths or whatever, these atrocities happen in other countries, somehow we manage to kind of distance ourselves from that and just carry on with our day. But as soon as that comes into our vicinity, then we start to go, right, we need to solve that. We need to send money to that. So it challenged me as someone that lived in the West and has West African uh, blood running through his veins and family out there how can I have these things because obviously they are going to affect me because the people that I'm seeing on the TV look like my mother and look like my brother and look like my daughter and, and so on and so forth but how can we start to make that affect us in a way that we, when we hear that our brother over there or here or whatever is suffering we start to think how can I help that and then this script arrives that goes let's take that situation and plonk it in the middle of our world of a world that we know and people that we associate with and people that we connect with and so I read it I got off the plane and I said I have to go in and meet these guys so I went in and met them I met Julie Pleck and David Nutter had a great time with them they called me back in and said we really want to go on this journey with you this is who we are this is what we can offer what are you into and I was saying I don't, there's something about this vibe in this room that I really like and so I then spoke to my agents who were like well those other guys we you're meeting them on Friday it's now Thursday if you sign to go to the next level with these you won't be able to take those meetings on Friday and Monday and I was like I just think there's a reason that I was in that room I know it sounds weird and the other projects maybe on paper or whatever who was connected to them like people were saying you really need to think about this but there was such a vibe and a connection in the room um, that I signed to go to test so when and then I was sort of offered the job in within a short space of time that's a really good story. Oh, thank You're you. Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how much of it was me, but just the sequence of events well, just no, happened, no, and the whole it's good. Oh, thank equally you. Equally good is your character has yeah, he's a great. really compelling arc just in the pilot alone. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. So, it's tough. so do you know? Have you filmed beyond the pilot? Do you I haven't know? filmed beyond the pilot. What's coming? Have you seen any of the storyline? So there's a. It's based on a Belgian series. And that's that they're in their second series, but I purposely haven't watched any of it. So I don't know what's happening in episode two. What I do know is what compelled me about my character is every day, like my Facebook feed or my Twitter feed is filled up with a, not every day, but on a weekly basis, uh, a story about an American cop who has accosted a young man and, and or a young woman and mistreated them. And, and I just think that's it's a, an incredibly tough job because most of the cops that I've met for my research have got into this to help people, and it's their job is being is is, is being is just tougher and tougher and tougher, and knowing how to gauge certain situations uh, at times when you haven't got a clue whether this guy's carrying a gun or a bag of sweets or whatever is is incredibly tough um, and so the guy that I met with in Atlanta was uh, I specifically asked to meet with an African-American police officer because I think that a lot you know this guy his job is even tougher because he's built his reputation and his career 
off of the relationship that he has with the public. So he has these he has this relationship with the public and now the public are kind of sort of turning on him and he's kind of like trying to stand in the middle of this these two extreme situations. So I kind of took a lot of that and placed that with Lex and thought what happens if if you have so much trust in the public and they have it in you and the government are telling you to do this but you're unsure of where to go um, and I think that's what we'll start to see more of that kind of pull of what's right and what's wrong and what he should do. And if you were a person in position of power and you were inside of a containment fence and and you had someone you loved inside and yeah. someone outside, what would you do? So you've got, uh, well, I, I, what I would do personally, so I'm thinking if I had my wife inside and my, and my kids outside or vice versa, if outside was technically safe, then I'd go in and make sure and try and keep my person inside safe. But I would, I would speak to the person outside and say, you must do this, you must stay here, and, and daddy's going to come back and get you, or, 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 or I'm going to go and get our kids, and you, you need to make sure wherever we are is safe. That's what, I, that's what I'd like to think I'd do. <laughs> Depends.